President Shavkat Mirziyev received delegation of People's Republic of China headed by Chairman of People's Government of Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region Erkin Tuniyaz. Priority areas of wide expansion of Uzbek-Chinese multifaceted cooperation including the development of practical interaction between the regions of Uzbekistan and Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region were discussed. The current highest level of Uzbek-Chinese relations of friendship and all weather strategic partnership has been noted with deep pleasure. Uzbekistan trade turnover with Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region is growing. This region currently accounts for about 10% of mutual trade between the countries. The portfolio of investment projects with leading companies from Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region makes up $3.5 billion and today covers such areas as the green energy and electrical industry, construction sector and production of new types of building materials, metallurgy, modernization of infrastructure and others. A cultural exchange program is being actively implemented. During the meeting, the sides also discussed the development of humanitarian tourism ties. Particular attention was paid to the promotion of Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, China railroad construction project. President Shavkat Mirziyoyev reviewed the presentation of plans to develop and improve the quality of school education. The strategy of Uzbekistan 2030 identifies reforms of educational system as a priority task. Transformations affect not only general education but also specialized educational institutions. In particular, there are 14 presidential schools, 9 schools of creativity and 182 specialized schools in Uzbekistan. Based on experience of past years and modern requirements, it is planned to improve the directions of these educational institutions. Public scientific councils will be established under the agency of presidential educational institutions to make extensive use of capabilities of highly qualified teachers. These councils will be involved in the development of curricula, improvement of the evaluation system, improvement of professional skills of teachers, plans to introduce teaching in English in 14 schools from the beginning of the next academic year, and to build eight new specialized schools in 2025-2026 have been also announced. There are also proposals for schools of creativity. In particular, they will organize master classes with the participation of famous writers and public figures. Publication of creative works of students will be organized at the expense of Writers' Union. Various contents will be organized to support talented young people. It is proposed to create a center for preparation of students for subject Olympiads. It will attract leading scientists and foreign specialists. Each student will be focused on individual development program. A system of rewarding the leader of the national team based on the final results of participation in international Olympiads will be introduced. A unified Olympiad calendar and training system covering all subject Olympiads will be created. The presentation also discussed the introduction of transparent and objective system for assessing students' knowledge. It's proposed to assess students' knowledge at the school final examinations on the basis of unified control materials. Examination tasks will be translated into written and practical forms. A procedure for checking answers through the special platform will be established, and questions will be regularly updated. Another important innovation is that school final examinations will provide an opportunity to choose a subject corresponding to the entrance test to the higher education institutions. The head of state gave instruction on bringing the system of general secondary education to a new level and ensuring its coordination with higher education.